Nolan over the years has become kind of addicted to spectacle. He started out as a pretty small filmmaker making, yeah. making films like Memento. And, well, and before that, following a film which is right. made for something like, I mean, basically the price of like two pairs of shoes. It's essentially a student film. Yeah, you know? I it's mean, it's, it's, it's a sub-student film budget. <laughs> it's quite ingenious in how it uses that yes. budget. Maybe we'll get back to the relationship between yeah. that and everything else, but let's get to, let's... Well, so over the Dunkirk. years, he, you know, he, I think he got kind of addicted to making these giant movies on giant budgets. Um, I think a lot of people looked at this and said this is going to be sort of the apex of that, where uh, it, Nolan is even moving away from science fiction. He's just making a big war movie, I think. Uh, but and he, a very old-fashioned kind right. of war movie. This is really a very 1955 kind of idea of a war movie. Except it's really not, though, in a lot of ways. Yes. Yeah. Conceptually, it's it's an ensemble cast. It's shot entirely in 70 millimeter. Yeah. Um, it's taking a, uh, in the States, a lesser known, but a, a fairly important event in, in World War II, which is the evacuation of British, French, and I believe also Belgian troops from Dunkirk in 1940. Successful evacuation of over 300,000 troops uh, as its, so its you subject. Can, you can imagine a lot of different <laughs> versions of that movie. And it's got Kenneth Branagh right. and a bunch of other people. You can it. imagine a, a, a version hands. of that movie that would that that would play uh, exactly like a giant old fashioned Hollywood war epic. And this certainly has the scale and the budget, and even to some degrees the tone of that occasionally. But Nolan doesn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Nolan is 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 much too ambitious as a filmmaker uh, to let that simply be what this film is. Mm -hmm. uh, so there, there's actually, I mean, even getting into what this does. Uh, is complicated because yeah. in a lot of ways this movie is as structurally and chronologically complicated as Memento and The Prestige. Yeah. So the film essentially looks at the Dunkirk evacuation as uh, three different sort of uh, events within events. It's basically taking the structure of the back end of Inception yes. and applying it that, that to nesting a, doll yeah, the nesting doll structure, applying it to a totally non-sci-fi setting but in a way that is actually kind of Pointed. Yes, it's meaningful. Made, yeah, meaningful. It is pr very purposeful here. Yes. 